Hello everyone and welcome back to this channel. Today we are looking at Tiny Toons Adventures, Buster's Bust Loose for the Super Nintendo. Tiny Toons was released in 1993 on the Super Nintendo. You play as Buster Bunny and you must mad dash through Acme University's toughest classes. If you pass a test, you'll hop aboard a Wild West train ride, then explore a spooky monster mansion, play in a far out football game, bounce through an aerial sky jinx in search of treasures, and finally blast off on a Babs Bunny rescue mission that's totally spaced out. Remember, if you're new here, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button as it helps out this channel grow. And don't forget to hit the notification button for all future videos. So, is Tiny Toons worth playing today? Let's find out in this review of Tiny Toons Busted Bust Loose for the Super Nintendo. The entire game essentially takes place in a Hollywood studio with every stage being its own movie setting. This is certainly an interesting creative idea that definitely reflects the comedic tone of the show. Not only that, but it also sets up the entire game to have this unique settings throughout the different stages. Between each stage, the setting is introduced with some cutscenes and dialogue amongst the Tiny Toons characters. That explains the primary objectives and backgrounds for each stage. This game features Busted Bunny in a side-scrolling adventure. It has three different difficult levels, easy, normal, and hard. The levels are a little smaller in easy mode, and Buster only has one health container in the hard mode. Although extra containers can be collected by exploring the levels. There are continues in this game and password system. Buster controls fairly well and most of the controls are relatively easy to master. The only complaint I really have control wise is the kick attack. The one button jumps and the other will do the jump attack, which can be a bit awkward to pull off in certain situations. It would have been much easier if we could have just been able to jump on top of enemies heads instead. You also get limited dash attack. Once your dash meter runs out, you will stop running. The dash meter isn't hard to use and it will become necessary later on. There are a total of 6 levels in this game. Buster's objectives vary from level to level. In Acme University, Buster realizes he's late for class and, and dashes off. In the western movie world, Montana Max claims he's a star of a western movie being filmed on a set. In stage 3, Buster seeks shelter in what seems to be an abandoned mansion, but ends up being a haunted mansion. Then there's the Acme University football level. Buster is a star receiver on his team and must run the ball 100 yards over the field to score a touchdown and win the game. Stage 5, Buster goes up into the sky to retrieve an item that Calamity Coyote accidentally left up there. And in the final stage, the space opera, Buster plays a knight of honor who has to rescue Babs, who is in her Princess Leia based character, and he has to defeat Duck Vader. The boss battles aren't that tough to defeat. You have to stop Dizzy from destroying the kitchen, stop a train in the Wild West, help find Babs' friend who has been brainwashed by an evil professor. and defeat Duck Vader. I did have a little trouble with Duck Vader at first, but once you learn his pattern, he's really not that difficult. This is one of the better looking games for the Super Nintendo. Each of the six levels are unique, most with many environments in each level. An example of this, the western world has a stable, a saloon, and a train station. And the spooky mansion, some of the pictures with the different Tiny Toon characters from the show disappears and reappears. Each level has its own unique enemies and obstacles, making each one feel like its own area of the game rather than a reskin version of the previous level. Also, if you're familiar with the show, nearly every character, big and small, makes it into the game at some point. All of them look nearly identical from the source material. The Tiny Toons theme song is one of the most catchiest in all animated history. Nearly every level has some kind of remix of the infamous tune, but they're different enough to make them individual. The mansion level has a pipe organ style version, while the space level is heavily inspired by John Williams and Super Metroid. 
Konami knew that nobody would want to hear the same song over and over again. One exception is the bonus round song, which is a carnival theme song, but the whole soundtrack has an altogether bouncy and cartoonish vibe, which fits the game perfectly. Busta Bust Loose also makes good use of the sound effects. The sound effects like the dash feature and the dash attack to Busta Dying and collecting items all sounds great. Overall, good music and sound effects. Tiny Toons Busted Bust Loose for the Super Nintendo is a great platform again. It has a solid gameplay, the controls work really good. The dash attack is easy to use. The only grip I have with the controls is the jump attack. Sometimes it's kind of hard to pull off. The graphics are great. The graphics certainly have a strong cartoon vibe that fits the mood of the original show really well. Every sprite is colorful and well animated. All the levels look great, whether it's a school hallway, a dangerous western frontier, an airy dark mansion, everything is very well detailed. It has a great soundtrack. The Tiny Toons music plays throughout the game in different forms, so it doesn't really feel repetitive. And all the music fits the level nice. The sound effects were good also. Sound effects such as running and jumping a buster, the clashing with enemies, the collection of items, and even the sounds of falling to death all share the cartoon vibe that this game has to offer. And this game is a little short. It can be beaten in about an hour. Other than that, I did have a lot of fun with this game, and I think it captured the cartoon very well. I'm giving Tiny Toons Bust a Bust Loose for the Super Nintendo an 8 out of 10. What did you think about Tiny Toons Bust a Bust Loose for the Super Nintendo? Please leave comments below to share your thoughts. And that would do it for this episode. I do live streams throughout the week, mostly games from the Xbox or the Nintendo Switch, and I also do retro games throughout the week. And remember, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up for your support. Thank you for watching, and I will see you here on the next episode. Have a great day.